Hey guys, one minute before Talk Shop Tuesday is over, so um, I figured I'd put one out there this week. I'm sorry for missing recently. I've been uh, just exhausting myself with all this work. Look, even Zeus is exhausted. Sitting on the floor in my room, I've been going straight for 19 hours, and then my laptop died, and I forgot my charger. Self-financing is pretty self-spoken. Um, you have a million dollars, you put a million dollars into a property, uh, the property brings in $10,000 a month, all the expenses are 20,000, it's totally hypothetical right now, and uh, boom, voila, you have 10% on your money um, year over year. And of course, you save money wherever you can because it's your own money and you're trying to work bare bones, so uh, you don't have to spend too much. Next is raising money, and there's a few ways to do this. Um, I actually raise money and sell finance. Uh, right now, I'm doing a mix of both. I don't syndicate any deals, um, probably yet. I'm probably well down the line, but not yet. Um, and raising money typically works in the sense of you know friends and family, uh, investors, whatever it is. You um, open an LLC together, fifty fifty. Somebody puts in half a million, maybe somebody else puts in a hundred thousand or two hundred thousand, and boom, you have an LLC that's gonna buy a property um, for a million bucks, but now you have, say, 30% or 40% of the property. Um, and of course, uh, you're gonna try and save where you can um, relative to the size of the project and depending on how much you have. Like, I save as much as I can where I can, but I have so many projects going on that I have to hire somebody. Uh, full time to run my construction side. So that's the salary. You know, it's not me doing it myself all the time anymore. Now, generally, when you do um, raise money in small intervals like this, uh, you don't want to spend where you don't have to spend like you save everywhere you can uh, although you may have the capacity to do more deals and then uh you have to sacrifice a little bit of your bottom line um because your net net is greater uh over time as you do more projects so syndicating deals is where it gets a little crazy because it's basically like you know i put together sam joe mike uh, Dick, John, and Michelle. You know, Michelle's loaded. Her dad left her a lot of money. Uh, we put together a million dollars. I own 5%. And uh, voila, we buy this property for a million bucks. But now everybody owns like 5, 10, 15%. And uh, you put a lot of people together and you buy something. Whatever modes of financing, you can make it happen. I've also met a lot of syndication guys and uh, they just don't seem to care, you know, the same way that normal people care. You know, they're like, ah, oh, put this money together and uh, do the deal, you know, and then everybody else will do the work for me. And I really don't like that mindset. You know, I like to work with people that know how it feels um, in a sense that they kind of struggled before or want to save that way you know who's taking care of your money as well. It's, I think that's important, you know. But um, but a lot of uh, Jews, of course, a lot of Jews, uh, they syndicate like big deals and stuff. And they never even go to the site or anything. Uh, I kind of disagree with that model, but whatever. I'm Jewish too.